Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make your props or your objects light up and glow just as such. If you're interested in making an animated prop such as this, you can join my memberships here on YouTube. Um, it shows you how to make animated props easy just like this. But today I'm going to show you guys how to make these glow animated props. Things. You can do this for clothes, props, anything that you feel you need a glow to your object. So I'm going to show you pretty much how to make the emissive shader glow for you. So I'm using Blender. Um, the best thing to do is use your Blender 3.5. I normally, when it comes to props, I like to use 3.5. 4.0 works, but it will not work for animated props. Um, if you already have an animated prop, or a prop already set and all you need to do is put on an emissive shader use 4.0 if you like so the first thing you need to do you need to actually have your objects with a texture on it do not use any of the regular um textures from blender because it will not work so i pretty much already have my texture such as this for my stars and my wings so in order for me to make my wings glow or my stars glow i will go ahead and separate the stars from the wings and in order to separate the stars from the wings you'll just go into edit mode you'll select the wings i'm sorry you'll select the stars and then you'll hit p and separate by selection so once you have that separated what you're going to do is drop in your dds texture so this texture that you have, you make sure that it is DDS, drop it into your shader and connect it using your shader material properties here. Um, so once you have that set, you're gonna come into Solemn's tools. You're gonna select the stars and you're gonna search for drawable tools under shader tools. You're gonna search for um, emissive. So it's normally at the top, um, you can search here using this drop down right here and hit emissive. You're going to select emissive and convert active material. Make sure this is also embedded as well. So once you convert active material, it's going to convert into a emissive shader for you. Um, and then once you do that, you set all textures embedded. And then if you want to so if you want to up your glow on your stuff, make sure you come down here to the value parameters under your Solemn's settings here. You're gonna pull this out right here so that you can see emissive multiplier is what will assist you with making it more brighter. So if I were to do that, and make it more brighter and it will show you here that it's making it more brighter so i'm going to do that for the other stars as well and pretty much that is how you do it so like i said just add on your emissive shader in your solemn's tools and that's pretty much how you do it um like I said, you can do this for clothes or anything. So I'm just going to export this out and show you guys the final result. All right. And then I'm just going to throw it in cold walker so that we can see this is the old one. I'm just going to go ahead and replace it in cold walker. All right. So once you have it in cold walker, now just remember when you are doing something emissive, normally only shows at night. So pretty much just turn the world down tonight and there you have it in a mist of glow um it pretty much is brighter than before but not too bright um but always always test in game to make sure it is to your liking um once you already have everything done in here you don't have to do too much but just adjust the settings of your emissive glow all right, guys, so that's pretty much how you add emissive shader and make things glow for GTA.